Hey guys, how are y'all doing? It's Alan with Saltwater Bait and Tackle. We're going to show y'all today how to make a stiff rig for your marlin plugs. Uh, all our supplies are right here on the table. Um, I'm going to use 400 pound mono, 330 second cable, a hook of your choice, whether it be a 7691 or a 7732, whether you like a tuna bend or a wide gap, 500 pound Bill Fisher ball bearing swivel, 2.8 millimeter crimps, 2.2 millimeter crimps, and then your plug of your choice. The way you get your hook gap, decide what size hook you're going to use. You take your hook here, you gap it around the back of your head. You want it to fit snugly just like that. And that's how you know what size hook you're going to use. These are your two options of hooks that we recommend. You can see the difference in the two bends, whether you got a wide gap here or your tuna bend here. I prefer a tuna bend, so that's what we'll be using today. You're going to start out, you're going to pull your cable off. And lay your plug out. And you just want to get a rough estimate here from your hook stop back to the end of the plug. Leave yourself a little slack so you got some room to work with. Cut that there. Put your cable through your crimp. Take your hook. And I'm going to take my bench crimpers here. Make your crimp. Take your piece of shrink tube. It doesn't need to be too long. Just from the bottom of your eyelet up about an inch above your crimp's fine. I go ahead and cut that, slide it down onto your hook. Just let it sit there for now. You take your next, you take your next two crimps, slide them onto your wire. Let one go all the way down. Bring your thimble over here. Go ahead and form your eye at the end. I like to put a little bit of bend in the thimble so that way it's not tied on the corner of the cable where it pinches down here on the crimp. So now you're just kind of trying to get your length right. To be tournament legal, the eye of the hook cannot extend past the length of the skirt. You do not ever want your tip inside of the skirt because your skirt can grab on your tip, foul up, then your bait doesn't swim right and affects your hookup ratio. So I just kind of adjust it out a little bit. And that's about right there. You see the hook's just a little bit in there, but once you put your mono and your chafe tube on the top and crimp it, it's gonna slide it back the rest of the way where you need it to be.
make your crimp there. Take your cable, put it through your second crimp. Figure out your length of where it's going to meet here at the bottom of your other crimp. Cut your excess. Slide that crimp down. And you're just going to take it and twist. Get everything wrapped evenly. Try to line your crimps up the same so that way when you crimp it down it all lays flat and tight. So you want your crimps to line up like that right there. Just kind of take it here, make everything flat. You don't put a lot of pressure on it. And that's how your cable should look. Your next step is going to be to shrink wrap right here. Take your heat gun. It's very important to make sure you're, you're holding your cable straight as you do this. Lay that there. Take your 400 mono. Run it through your bait. Take your crimp. Piece of chafe tube. Slide your mono through your thimble, back through your crimp, and stick a little bit out. Take your heat gun, lighter, whatever you have available, and just burn the end of it here a little bit to flare it out. Get that mushroom on the end of your mono there. It just helps keep it from sliding through your crimp. And that's how your connection should look there. We'll take this and go ahead and crimp it. Take a little bit of electrical tape. And you're just going to take right here below your crimp on your wire and wrap up, wrap to the top of your crimp and then back down one time. Try to keep everything as straight and tight as possible. And slide it up here into your hook stop. And there you go. That's how your hook should extend past your skirt there.
See how none of the skirt can grab the tip of the hook. Your hook should always be pointing up where your keel weight's on the bottom of the lure head. You always want to troll your lure with your hook up like that. And then the final step, the way we attach our lures to wind-on leaders, we do not use a snap swivel. We use a 500-pound ball bearing swivel. You take your crimp, slide it on the top, piece of chafe tube, and your swivel. A little bit of excess again. We're gonna burn the end just as we did on the other side. Slide it back down. Make your loop down there. And that's it. You're ready to go. Everything's made the way it should be. And if you have any other questions, feel free to stop in the shop and ask us and we'll be glad to show you around.